Hello all, Terhi here again. Today I'm playing again with January Hip Kids and focusing on the green basic gray paper we had on the main kit and in paper kit and to golden texture paste we had on the, in the color kit. But first, I found this gorgeous um, gold label uh, accent stickers <laughs> from Swap. Did I set the name right? Anyway, this pro was in Project Life kit and I thought why not to use them on the background because they are uh, transparent. You can see only the golden thing. So that was my idea <laughs> and this is how I did it. Uh, I added first a lot of stars and some words and some dots uh, on the background. I did this uh, paper cluster before. If you want to see how I did this paper cluster, please watch some other video because I don't want every video to be exactly the same with cutting the paper and stapling it um, together. So I made this paper cluster before. Now I'm uh, keeping it there where I want it to be and adding these uh, stickers here and there around it. Uh, this is kind of uh, getting looking like a mixed media layout already, even though there is nothing uh, mixed media. But the uh, idea is to spread things all over, all over your um, main things on the paper and I mean the photograph as the main thing. Uh, so when you have something there, something there and spreading it um, from the picture to the sides of the paper, you get the idea. Anyway, so I'm adding more, more and <laughs> even more these stickers and somehow it's starting to look quite good. Um, you might give me crazy right now, but I'm adding this paste on top of those stickers. Uh, this is Prima stencil, I think. Uh, it has this nice flower theme, so I thought it was nice for this layout. Uh, I want this stencil kind of two ways, so I added the first face and then clean it and added it uh, on the other way with the same paste, of course. Um, this paste is a little transparent as well when it's dry. You can see, uh, if you look close, you can see uh, these stickers behind the texture paste. And of course, uh, this stencil isn't covering everything. So, so it was kind of nice idea. Uh, and this gold and green paper gray paper goes really nice together. I didn't actually thought about it first, but when I saw them together, oh, it was so nice. So I chose to use this black and white picture of my daughters. Oh, how small they are in that picture. One year old and three year old. Now they are five and seven. Few years makes a lot of difference. Um, I chose this black and white picture because I didn't have anything and I didn't want to use anything with nothing green in the picture because this I wanted these colors to pop out a lot. And also when I have these strong colors on the layout, it's nice to use black and white photo to kind of calm the layout down. So that's why I chose this picture. Um, uh, if you look now the layout, it looks kind of boring because these colors are so, so, uh, what's the word? Light, maybe? Boring, maybe? <laughs> anyway, so I thought, well, I'm adding a lot of uh, more of these stickers here and there to the paper layers, but it needs something color. So I added the chipboard. A sticker from Great Paper, this flower one, uh, peeking um, behind the picture, and it's quite centered from this of this layout to kind of get the attention. And then it need more something, something 
shiny. So in this project life kit we had this Heidi Swap um, alphas. So I took the O's and X X's <laughs> which are not looking like like a letter when they are alone. So this go goes nice as embellishments as like uh, enamel dots or some diamonds just a peak here and just a peak there and that's nice and i'm finishing the layout with some drops of mists i'm using golden uh, cold mists because i wanted this cold texture paste to kind of spread to this page and also some turquoise paint Oh, this is almost green paint. Eh, paint. Mist. Anyway, uh, these two colors, which are the main colors on this layout. And a little, just a little amount of, of um, red or fuchsia uh, mist to, to kind of make the chipper sticker smoother. So, this was fun and I hope you are inspired now. Uh, see you soon. Bye.